We're going to start off with a quick a healthcare uh, patient onboarding example. So we have three different types of documents here. We have a insurance card, a driver's license, and a health form. We're gonna be leveraging um, the Infuse Scanner integration with UiPath. So we're gonna put in all three of these documents and we're gonna click the button here, patient check-in. And what's gonna happen is each one of these documents we scanned uh, I'm going to hit the accept button and on our screen here uh, we have a UiPath server and these three documents are now going to be sent to UiPath and ultimately entered into the electronic medical record solution. So UiPath has shown a yellow banner there that the new batch has been captured. It's going to make sure that all three documents, so it's going to go through a two-step process. All documents have been received. In this case, uh, the insurance card and the health form and the driver's license have been ex received. And then you'll notice on the touch panel that all documents have been received. And then we're gonna now extract the data. So this is the step two. Extract the text on each one of those documents and then actually use that text to log into the electronic medical records, in this case, a fake one find that particular patient, enter the patient's information, in this case, three uh, values, gender, name, and then check in successful. And then on the panel here, we'll now get a check in successful message that lets us know that the actual patient check in was successful. Another option is using the paper cut uh, badge scanner. So to authenticate to the device, we can use a typical badge scanner application touch to the badge scan application and it loads the specific buttons that that user has access to. So from a security perspective, we can leverage LDAP or leverage the paper cut authentication capability to authenticate a user very easily through a badge swipe into the Infuse system. So as you can see, we have lots of different types of identifications, whether it's a passport, a driver's license, uh, what we're going to do here is the identity verification integration we have with ID now, which supports 123 or 124 different uh, country uh, IDs uh, across the world. So we're going to hit the ID verification button. This is going to go out to ID now. It's going to verify that the information and the actual uh, passport is valid, and it's going to come back with a valid You'll see here on the screen, this is a valid ID. We get a response that it is checking the ID. And in our particular workflow, the only thing that we want to verify is that it is valid or not. The ID is valid. Now, in this case, we'll scan in a New York driver's license, which it should not be valid. It is not a valid image. This should generate an error message that says one or more issues have been found. So it's checking the ID. Now we do have that passport scanner, uh, which is uh, a optional component, and that will work a little bit better with passport sized documentation. And as you can see here, the ID has one or more errors, which is by design. Uh, so we would now have further quality control on this particular document. In this example, we're going to be leveraging Abbey Vantage Document AI Engine. We've put some rules in here to notice and extract the actual total amount. So when I select this particular invoice, that's 700, I'm sorry, $7.41, and I hit the receipt button, it's going to now go out to the Abbey Vantage Document AI Engine to extract and perform logic in this case, a receipt received in process, please wait message will come up. This lets the user know that the workflow has started and is working as intended. And as you see here, receipts process successfully. Now in the next example, we're going to use a receipt that's over $700, in this case, $741.18. We're going to be entering that into the scanner with the receipt button pressed. And the logic here is going to initiate a sum level match to make sure that this particular receipt does not exceed $700. Obviously it does. 
So we're gonna get an error message that says so. So here we're getting a response back that says receipt total $741, 18 cents is above the allowed limit. So leveraging the Infuse touch panel integration and the feedback we're getting from Abbey Vantage or any one of our Infuse destination plugins, we can report back immediately to the end user of any issue without them having to do this manually. All right, in this particular example, we're gonna be leveraging our integration with the Info Input IDP platform, Intelligent Document Processing. We're gonna leverage a barcode zone here and the ability to then take this barcode zone and populate these other metadata fields. So this uses the Info Input plugin. I'm gonna hit the Info Input Housing Application form. And this is gonna go out to Info Input and verify on the screen that we have received this document. And if it's done correctly, we should get this particular PA case number that shows on the screen here to verify that the extraction, the database lookup uh, has succeeded. And as you can see here uh, on the screen, it has noticed, noticed that there is one document that's three pages and the bill PA number, case number associated with this particular housing application. So we know that this has been received and processed successfully by Info Input, so we can click the OK button. The Infuse software requires a server component that can be installed either on a Windows device in the cloud or on-premise. Uh, depending on how you want to roll this out, there is essentially a multi-tenant capability here where you go in and create your own organization. So if you're hosting this for most, multiple customers or multiple partners, uh, each partner can have their own site, essentially. Uh, on each site, you then also can apply the particular scanner. So in this case, within each organization, I have the Worldwide Demos organization that I've set up here. You can see this particular scanner is allocated to that particular uh, organization. However, within each organization, you also have groups. So in our particular case, we have a need based on security to have certain proxy information on our experience room here within the Kodak network. However, outside the office, we also support um, an outside Alaris network, which then removes a lot of that proxy information. So in our particular case, uh, we have this sir, uh, the scanner here, the 513 uh, serial. Um, you'll see when we click on the buttons um, and the outside the network, uh, this particular scanner is enabled. To create new buttons, you click the add button here at the top, you enter a name, select the button icon, uh, select the group in which that uh, particular button should show up, and then your basic scanning application uh, settings. So this is dots per DPI, dots per inch, how you wanna scan, whether it's multi-feed, whether you wanna skip uh, blank pages, color dropout, the actual output in terms of the file format can be PDF, multi-page TIFF, multi-page PDF, JPEG, or any type of image format. We support dynamic barcode extraction right within the core application, as well as what kind of behavior you wanna see with the touch panel. Uh, the real meat of the application is in our destination here. Uh, out of the box, we get your typical FTP, SFTP, email or scan to email and scan email to fax, but really are, and then uh, also the ability to scan to an SMB file share. But the real driver for this application is the Infuse destination service. By selecting that, we then get all the available plugins that are available. Any plugin can be created for Infuse using our API and a JSON REST call. In this particular case, we have our Abbey Vantage. Uh, Abbey is the document AI tool uh, that we fully integrate with, as well as our Info Input solution, which integrates with AWS, Google, Azure, and of course, Abbey, uh, as well as our Arian Next, which is the ID Now ID verification capability. This is where we can literally have a single button press to launch an application into the cloud. So if we look at our particular receipt process here, uh, in our prior example, 
You can see as we move down to our destination service, we have the Abbey Vantage plugin. In this particular case, within Abbey Vantage, we have a receipt document process skill that allows us to automatically extract certain information from the receipt or any receipt and then report back to the user. In this particular case, we give the system 45 seconds to return that message back to the touch panel of the Infuse scanner. If it's not available, you can see here, this is the response timeout we would provide.